Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time, we got our hands on that new artifact underneath Grand Cell Cathedral. We also gained a party member, our squire, Reese, who apparently has the personality of a robot, except that she's hungry all the time. And then this asshole right here was spying on us, so... Oh, Gilbert. Hey, how are you doing? So, yeah, we're over here to, uh... Take him out and figure out what he's doing. What his deal is. Yeah, this guy's been a coward from day one. Really? You really, um, yeah, you're way too sure of yourself. You've got a lot of hubris. We need to take you down to size. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> he's, uh, pretty pathetic. We've kicked his ass in the first game, kicked his ass in the second game. He's pretty much your comic relief Ouroboros member because he just SUCKS! Yeah, uh, kinda sorta, yeah. Wow, you got him pegged, don't you? So, is it like a Japanese thing to name, like, cowardly people Gilbert? Because I know that in Final Fantasy IV, Edward was originally named Gilbert as well, and he's not exactly, you know, the best fighter either. Whoa! Hey! Nice! So he has a machine gun pointed at us, and we just have a sword, and uh, that takes him down. Hey! Because as we all know in JRPGs, swords are much better than guns. Absolutely! That's a pretty cool sword, too. I like it. And they go into a nice explanation of how the sword works, which is, uh, pretty cool if I do say so myself, yeah. Yeah, so it's almost like an elastic type of sword, and it bends and it stretches as, at will, so it's not just like one solid piece of metal. I like it. It's really cool. If you see it in action, how it, like, swings around like a snake, it's sweet. Yeah, do it! Oh, yeah, that's true. So slice and dice you. Oh. <laughs> Beg for forgiveness. That's what you gotta do. Oh. Um, you're not very good at your job, are you? So, first of all, you failed in the arson uh, of the orphanage in the first game, and then you tried to capture us on the Glorious in the second game. Both times you failed. But last time we left you, Campanella was saying that he was going to kind of play with you. I wonder what happened with all that. Whoa! Yikes! Yeah, he had archaism in the uh, second game as well. Eh. Gee, Apache. Sounds like something from Final Fantasy VII. Anyway, this Gee, Apache thing is nothing to sneeze at. It has a uh, pretty big attack that it can use on you, so if you want to, it might be a good idea to spread your party members out before it can use its big attack on you. Um, so, oh, great, that's just lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I probably should have moved my characters around, but I didn't think that Gilbert was going to be able to freeze me to death right in the middle of this guy's huge blaster ray. This sucks! Oh, great. Oh my god, look at that damage! Holy shit, Kevin's like almost dead and we're frozen. Oh, thank god. Um, yeah, let's, uh, move. Move way far away. Thank you! And let's see. Oh, yeah, we can't attack them right now. It has the little, um, no sign right there when we try to attack. So I guess I could go ahead and heal Kevin just so he doesn't die. Wow, this is like the first boss battle of the game. And like, holy shit! Wow. People weren't kidding whenever they said this game was hard! Yeah, I can't imagine. Like, if this was a normal difficulty or even harder than that, like, that could have killed me right then and there. And then I'd have to redo like 40 minutes worth of cutscenes. What a pain in the ass. So basically, during this fight, you want Kevin to be using Titanic Roar in order to hurt both Gilbert and the Archaeism at the same time, whereas Reese is more of a physical attacker, so just have her focus on, um, again, physical hits. Now, one thing that you can do is use this chain, and it's going to use part of Kevin's CP and part of Reese's CP 
but you're going to end up doing basically attacking twice. So it's a really nice um, craft to use if you have the CP for it. And basically what I want to try to do is get one of them killed and then go ahead and kill the other one. So, yeah. And then hopefully this art attack will take Gilbert out and then I can just have uh, her take out the Archaeism there. Awesome! Yeah, and now Gilbert's just going to embarrass himself. Listen to this shit. All that just for a debuff? Are you kidding me? He's so ridiculous! I love it! <laughs> but anyway, with that, Gilbert is down for the count. So it looks like all we need to do is take out this Archaeism, which shouldn't be too hard. I really wish that Kevin had a, um, like an offensive uh, ultimate craft. I hate defensive crafts. It just suck. But anyway, take him out wasn't too hard. Yeah, if you're on hard and difficulty levels, move your party members around first thing first. Do not have them in a line. Otherwise, you should be fine. Yeah, bad surprises. He's really full of crap. Yeah. It is kind of surprising to see uh, a woman using a sword that's bigger than her entire body. Oh, she still has feelings for him. Um, he'll come with you because you'll force him to, but he won't come quietly. He'll bitch moan every single step of the way. Uh, yeah. For the third time now. His sa Screw his safety! He's tried to fuck us over so many freaking times! Oh, what's going on now? Wait, Gilbert saw it too? Oh, yeah. Huh. Annihilating you. <laughs> well, that's what I'd be planning on doing. And who are you? Who's this guy? Looks almost like Reed whenever he's transformed, but he's a mask on. And you know me. The sin of the stigma. Yeah. Oh. You're going to reveal yourself to our characters, but not to the player. Thanks, game. Thanks. Whoa! Is this McBurn? Burned to ashes? He doesn't look like McBurn, though. I mean, he had, a uh, reddish hair. This guy had white hair. Where are we? What's going on now? The music stopped, too. How ominous. Well, at least we're not alone. Washed up on a beach somewhere. Now that's multiple other games. Yeah, you okay? Oh. Really? Really? So, we just met some guy who was talking about, like, sending us to hell itself... And then we're in this strange, I don't know, dungeon or whatever. And you're just still thinking about food? Shouldn't your adrenaline be pumping and, like, you know, your flight or, f what is it, fight or flight syndrome be going on? You wouldn't be able to think about food right now? Oh, we're in, like, an ancient library of some sort. Huh. What is it? Oh, wow. Holy crap. The Azure Tree? That's you? And what's this? The Pure Land Water Entity? Huh. So we're in some sort of outer space library. The Hermit's Garden. You don't say. You know, normally they save the outer space dungeon till the end of the game. 
But I guess uh, today it's our lucky day. We got it at the very beginning of the game. Nah, it's fine by me. And we enter Chapter 1, Phantasma. Well, pretty quick prologue. Quicker than the prologue in uh, Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. So, like, the longest prologue ever. Oh, oh, the Asher Fragments. Huh, yeah. Well, I guess you won't be bored. A band book? Oh. Really? Huh. I assumed this was an ancient library. Maybe, like, all the books in the world somehow get deposited here or something? I don't know. What's going on here? Maybe it's like some wizard's library of some sort? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think that you guys should be talking about, like, food and Dorothy and, you know, recipe books and stuff like that right now. I'd be, like, looking for a way out of here. I like how that said that she handed over a smidgen of her egg salad sandwich. Not just, like, an entire, you know, piece of it, but just a smidgen, just the tiniest drop uh, for Kevin. I like egg salad. I wouldn't be complaining about that if I were you, Kevin. Yeah, uh, I agree. Okay. Well, what is it? Oh. Yeah. Huh. Well, it seems to just kind of come and go and activates whenever it wants to. Yeah, no kidding. What's going on with that artifact? And where are we? Oh. Well, I don't know. Um, again, you are his subordinate. You shouldn't be giving him orders as far as giving it to her. Um, let Kevin decide? Kevin is in charge? Where's she gonna escape to? You don't even know where you guys are! You guys are in the middle of the outer space library vacuum or whatever, and you're worried about her running off with some Rubik's Cube? Are you kidding me right now? Like, you guys need to stick together and figure out how to get the hell out of here. And I am up for some exploring next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.